Yo yo people, Gertrude here for another video. This video is going to be in flashing lights and today we're going to be going back undercover with our taxi. Now, due to the lighting update, we were able to really pimp this thing out and get it looking quite nice. So, if I drive forward a little bit, just want to give you a bit of space to see and we turn on the lights, you can tell we have a sick lighting setup. So. This setup was actually not made by me. I got it on the forums page like I have done for most of the lighting setups because the community does a lot better of a job than I do for setting all this up. But yeah, you see we have our side trim runners and now I wasn't sure if I wanted to have those on or not uh, because it's a little bit more obvious that this is an uh, undercover cop car when you have that going. But I want to get the full experience and who really suspects that a taxi would be a cop cruiser like it's just very uncommon right so yeah and then this side you see is blue so it's kind of going back and forth it's very very nice but anyway we're going to be heading out to the highway here so let's hop on in the vehicle um, and turn off the lights but one thing i want to also do actually before we leave let me just drive forward here and i want to check to see if any of the vehicles in this parking lot have uh invalid parking permits so if we go on out here, you can see there's a sign. Yep, yeah, there it is. It says you need a permit. So let's just see. Uh, okay, so this vehicle, they look to be all good. They have a nice green one on the front. Uh, this one is good too. Okay, let me check this truck that we were beside. Ooh, okay, I don't see one on the front and I don't see one on the back. Okay, so we're gonna give them a ticket. So no valid parking permit, there we go and just got to fill out all this information and we should be good there we are so let's go ahead and head out to a better location because there's really no point in going undercover in this area uh, there's just not enough traffic going i think the best option would actually be to head out to the interstate that is right we are on the interstate i am ready to start this so what i'm going to do so actually close that door we'll keep our engine running so if we do got to chase someone down we can do so pretty quickly go traffic uh now i'm gonna leave my traffic vest because i still want to be a little bit undercover our vehicle will be blocking us for our safety but what we will get is our speed radar and i'm gonna go ahead close the trunk so they can't see any of our police stuff in there so yeah the speed limit here is 75 miles an hour I'm thinking we'll get anyone who's going above 80 or actually here yeah, let's do 80 or above so if they're right at 80 or if they're like 85 anywhere between there we will definitely definitely be pulling them over so yeah this one's going 75 that's all good they're going to the exact speed limit and now we can get traffic going either way uh, it will be the same speed limit on both sides all right they're also going 75 Okay, this car's going 79, but again, I said 80 or over, so they are good. And that's another 75, so they're good too. And also, another thing that's uh, good about this is we can actually detect if anyone's drunk driving, right? Or, well, our speed radar can't really pick it up, but we can visually see if someone's just swerving a ton. Uh, this is a great way to pull them over. Oh, he's going 86. All right, all right, let's 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 get moving. Actually, I'm not too sure if it was a guy or girl, but we're all good. I still see them in the distance. Now, they are definitely getting some speed gained on us. I'm going to turn on our lights for now. Right, I guess we're kind of going code 2. Here we go. Actually, you know what? No, we're on the interstate. Let's go code 3. Still see them right up ahead of us. Keep our eyes peeled because cars do spawn in. And often we lose track of which vehicle is which but it looks like we will be able to catch up to this guy here very very soon here we go come on just a little bit further we got this yeah this guy he sees the lights and sirens and still hasn't pulled over like seriously there we go come on yeah pull to the side there we go okay you know what there's actually a pretty good parking spot I am happy with that. All right, what I'm gonna do, I don't want to get my just body taken out by another vehicle, so I'm gonna park a little bit more to the side. That should be good. So yeah, we have a bit more room to open up the door. I wanna grab my traffic vest. 
from the trunk so we are nice and safe so obviously we don't need to really be that undercover anymore but I'm gonna also run their license plate before we actually approach the suspect just in case there is something that comes back it's best to know before we get up there so yeah okay let me go scan vehicle in front of us now oh, they had suspended registration come back on the vehicle interesting okay I'm gonna though still put it through the system because occasionally um, our scanner doesn't actually get all the information but okay so yeah not stolen that's good to see it is the correct vehicle now it should be owned by an Alex uh, here let me check the record right now just in case here we go hopefully that will work unless I mistyped it nope we're all good okay so expired driver's license and the registration suspended oh my okay but they aren't wanted or anything so that's good to see but they will definitely be taken off the road here today okay here's the thing if your license is expired we can maybe just give them a ticket and say like yo you gotta go gotta go get that renewed but if the registration suspended that means it was taken away right and that means that they know they should not be driving like there's no kind of oh maybe maybe it was just by accident or something or I don't know right uh, okay here this is what I'm gonna do as well we actually do have directional arrows so I'm gonna tell people to go around that way there we go and yeah let's approach the suspect and hopefully this is a correct driver uh, the guy does match the description but we will double check license registration thank you all right now we still do not have the ability to ask any more questions I can't wait until that update comes out uh, I don't believe it is currently on like the planned um, roadmap for the game but I, I believe they'll do it eventually right like I feel like that's a very highly requested feature all right if any of the game workers are watching if the developers watching I know who watched the stream the other day if, if you're watching this video I would love to see some of those questions available maybe not even all of them just a bit more variety would be nice but okay so this guy does he seem drunk at all no he seems good besides for looking downwards now that, that's a little odd but I'm gonna go ahead and tell him to get out of the vehicle I'm thinking yeah here we go get out of vehicle perfect Okay, so sir, you're going to be arrested here today for two reasons. One is that you're driving with an expired driver's license. Usually we just give you a ticket, but on top of that, you do have your vehicle's insurance suspended. And obviously you do already know about that. So due to that matter, we will be arresting you here today. So here we go. Let's put him in handcuffs. And what I'm going to do now is pat him down, making sure he's not going to have anything that will poke me or stick me or stab me or do anything like that. If it's going to hurt me, I don't want it in the vehicle. So, yeah, let's do a quick check. And no, he was all good. Just had an ID card. So that's nice to see. But again, does he look drunk at all? Uh, no. Now that he's standing, it's, he still looks good. So I'm not even going to do a test for that. Now we'll go actions, grab. And I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the back of our cruiser just for now. Here we go. I'm actually not going to transport him to the station, but I do want to request for a tow right away on this vehicle so we can get that sorted out because that takes a little bit longer than it takes for uh, the transport to arrive. There we are. Okay, so now I'll tell him to... Uh, here, can I just go like this? Oh, no, he needs to get out of the vehicle first. Okay, so we'll go actions, grab, here we go. And, oh, the tow truck's already here. I guess it's a police tow truck. Interesting. So, yeah, that's going to be dealt with nice and fast. And then, hopefully, we will have our transport coming soon, too. Ooh, that guy was so speeding. I would love to pull that guy over. But we got we got to wait this out at the scene. Here we are. Oh, wow. They didn't even hit each other. I am glad to see that. I'm going to just stand right here, though, uh, because I want to make sure that this person is going to be transported all safely. Here we go. Yeah, definitely have some vehicles approaching. Oh, OK. Yeah, sir, sir, sir. Yep. There we go. That's why I was standing here. But yeah, they're all clear. So I can move over to the side now. And OK, I guess our vehicle got pushed because I don't remember leaving it in this position. 
Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the next speed trap. Join Lambomod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Alright guys, let's hop out of the vehicle. We are in a new location. The speed limit here is also 75 miles an hour, so we're going to do the same thing. If they're going 80 or over, we will be pulling them over. Let's get our speed radar out. There we go. And I chose this location due to the fact that we have this barrier. I'm hoping that kind of helps to make us be a bit more hidden. But if not, then I guess there's no harm. Okay, that vehicle just did some very weird driving. Here we go. Okay, so they're going 75. That's all good. 75 on that one as well. Oh, right, yeah. So we're just going to keep on checking. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, nope, 79. That's still fine. They are speeding a bit, but we'll, we'll let that pass. All right. This guy is also going 79. Wow. You guys are... Oh, okay. 93. What? He did not even look like he was going 93. That is ridiculous. But here we go. Let's light him up. Oh, yeah. They're definitely going 93. They're so far gone. I don't even know if we're going to be able to catch up to this person in time. I'm hoping we will. Ooh, okay. They look to be heading off. I think this is them. I'm pretty sure. All right. Come on, sir. Pull on over. I feel like you might even be drunk driving here. Oh, wait. He is fleeing the police. We have not had to deal with one of these in quite some time so here we go get the lights and sirens moving so we have a few options here the first option is to be uh, pitting the vehicle right if we go ahead and pit them correctly then they will be forced to stop but obviously that is not the most ideal way to do it uh, another way we have is our spike strips now the spike strips are very nice too but in order to activate those we need to be far like far 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 past the vehicle and then deploy them in the perfect way but oh okay what's this person doing it's actually a female suspect driving okay here you know what i think this road continues for a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and just pull on forward in front of them oh come on don't be hitting me here it's not what i was trying to do oh yeah they're still coming this way here we go just gotta get a little bit more distance before we can hop out and get these spike strips out of our trunk all right this is gonna have to be the spot here we go here we go get on out of the vehicle come on come on come on here we go here we go um traffic and oh was that the vehicle i swear yeah that was definitely the vehicle okay you know what here this is gonna work too this will be fine i'm just gonna deploy these right behind the vehicle right and now they're kind of stuck. I, I'm pretty sure this is the person. So yeah, get on out of the vehicle. Ma'am, ma'am, get just just get on out. You're, you're not going anywhere here. You are not going anywhere. Come on, there we go. Are you fleeing? Yeah, you are. Oh, are you drunk driving too? Yeah, they're definitely drunk. All right, here we go. Let's chase this person down. That was a very, very interesting way to uh, end the chase. But here we go. Just tackle the suspect. Don't got to use our taser at all. Come on. Put your hands up. There we go. They're finally done. All right. So we'll go ahead and arrest them here right away. So we don't have to worry about them fleeing too fast again. And okay, let me frisk them down. Make sure they're not going to have anything that's going to hurt me in any way, shape, or form. And that's all good. Okay, so. I think the best option now is we'll, we'll do the alcohol test in a sec. Let me grab their ID. All right. Rosemary, I think their name is. Okay. You're, isn't that the name of Spice? <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, we'll go ahead and just leave that as it is. Let's do alcohol test. And let's see. Yeah. So the legal limit 0 0.08. They were going, they're at 0 0.131. So far beyond the legal limit. Like, so far past it <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead now and grab the suspect there we go let's walk them back towards our vehicle uh, i do need to remove those spike strips here because they are a safety hazard in case someone drives over it when they aren't supposed to 
Okay, let me just run across. Now, luckily, the good news is that we don't even have them in the middle of the road. So in order for someone to drive over those, they're going to have to be driving recklessly already. So I, it should be okay to leave them there for a little bit longer. But yeah, let me put this person in here. We still got to run their ID. Definitely still got to run their ID. Here we go. All right, I'm going to move my vehicle so we can kind of block off the scene better. Let's turn on our sirens. Come on. Oh, right, here. This guy just needs to go past. There we are. Let's keep moving. There we are. All right. And now... Okay, I don't want to go over those myself. Uh, ooh. Okay, that's the closest we can go. Let me put my directional arrows. Tell them to go around. Now let's pick this thing up. Come on. Where is the hitbox? There it is. Awesome. All right, I'll throw these in the trunk. And I'm going to get my traffic vest out as well. There we are. We can even throw down some cones for the area. Because it is very unsafe right now. Here, let, let me just kind of go like this. The road's still open. But they just need to kind of go around us. Alright. Yeah, that should be... This should be solid. We'll put these away. Perfect. Now, let me run on over. We're going to request for a tow truck. I don't know how the tow truck is going to get this vehicle, but hopefully they'll figure it out. I guess they just have to pull really, really hard on the back. All we have to do now is hop on in the vehicle and check their record. So let's see what comes back. Also, sounds like we do have our vehicle arriving yes the tow truck is right over there they're not really headed the right direction there they go are you just gonna do circles nope you figured it out I, i'm glad to see that very very glad to see that also i really like the lighting configuration that's on there by default i don't think that's one that i uh put in myself or anything but yeah so we'll go ahead and do search database let's put in their information and let's see what comes back so they had an arrest before, but that's the only thing on the record. All right. Now, I didn't actually get to scan the vehicle, but I, I think we have enough charges. Like, they were fleeing the police because, yeah, this right there is about something different. So, yeah, it should be all good. We can close on out of this computer, and we can close or we can finish this scene. So, all I got to do is pick up all of these traffic cones. Here we go. Why do you stop there? Like, you clearly can go around. You know what, though? I prefer that they stop over just drive through the cones. Because that was definitely an issue we've seen a few times in this game in the past. I don't know. Maybe the last update fixed it. I. It seems like it did. Okay, seriously? What were you trying to do? Did you just forget how to drive? Well, let's go ahead and call for prisoner transport to end off this day so here we go let me just grab the suspect right here there we go I, I don't really want to transport a drunk person right now not really the most fun thing to do there we are prisoner transport for the suspect is in route very glad to see that so it should be coming which way do you think they'll be from oh okay right up there if, if you guess the left then you were correct <laughs> there they are come on oh that guy is probably drunk driving. That guy's definitely drunk driving. I I just love how chaotic the the world is in this game. It is insane. Which honestly, like that's what you want in a game like this, where it's a police game. You want there to be lots of action happening. So I am very glad to see that. But yeah, okay, those vehicles we'll just have to let them be because they're completely lost or just not functioning correctly. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video here today. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Also, I'm going to quickly mention that I am now vlogging on a brand new channel. It's called GP Nation. I also want to say a big thank you for all the support on that channel's launch. Uh, the first video, within the first hour of it being out, the channel was at around 500 subscribers. And that video, I think, had like 200 views. Now it's sitting at like 700 views, though, and the channel's at like 600 subscribers. So, giant shout out to all of you guys for supporting over there. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the future of that channel. Uh, honestly, you might see more videos going out there than on the Garrett Plays channel at some point. Just because 
vlogging something I can do even if I'm away from my computer because all I need is my laptop and camera but when I do the gaming videos I need to have my double monitor set up I need my microphone I need all the wires hooked up and it's just it's chaotic sometimes so there is definitely a chance that there'll be videos out on that channel days that there aren't on the Garrett Plays one. But I do plan to continue uploading on both, so just keep that in mind. You guys are awesome. Check out our Discord server, links down below. Bye bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.